is episode seven, correct? This is, yes. That is uh, correct. Yeah. Season one, episode seven, Justice. Injustice. Yes. Right. And justice for all. So, you know, this kind of reminds me of the video that we watched for, is that Labor Day? Uh-huh. Yeah, this episode kind of re- reminds me of that. Really? Well, kind of like the message, you know, ultimate justice. Gotcha. All right. Like, Why don't we start the episode and then you can, like, put that in the episode. Okay. Hey, Internet! Welcome back to Highway 47 Commentaries. Tonight we are watching Star Trek The Next Generation. We are back on Star Trek. We are on Episode 7 of Season 1, titled uh, Justice for this episode. I am Shaggy B, the man who always says stuff at the beginning of the episode and all that stuff. Uh, With me is Draco Funk. Say something, Draco. Yeah, I'm ready for this. All right, and with us tonight again is Scroderick coming back from the dead, except he was fine, but, you know, whatever. Back from my time warp. Back from your time warp. 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 Back. Back. Yeah. Are you going warp seven? (laughs) Scroderick's here. (laughs) Yes, I am here. We'll just leave it with that. Um... Welcome. We're I'm a little off my off my rocker here because we had a we we had a moment before we started the episode. Oh, oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna bring that up. I'm still recovering, so put that down. <laughs> just put that right back down, right? You didn't have to mention it. I'm sorry. I might edit all this out. I probably will. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, we're glad you're here. With us tonight, um, with your your fake friends who you don't really know unless you really do know us all or one of us, um, to watch some Star Trek together. You guys remember this episode? I do. Okay. Very barely. Very barely. And that's a good uh, that's a good way to describe um, a lot of what you'll see is very barely in this episode. Draco, you had something to say about it. You know, if you watched our Labor Day special, this. Episode kind of reminds me in that of, you know, it's all about justice and the right to dispense that justice. And So what do you guys think about about um, about rules versus like the situation? You know what I mean? Do you guys believe that the rules are what matters or do you believe that that everything is, is case by case and there's always a gray area? I think there's the letter of the law, and then there's the intent of the law. Okay. And would you do you think that, that those are equally important, or do you lean more to one side or the other? I mean, kind of right down the middle. Kind of right down the middle? Scratterick, what do you think? Yeah, I think everything's kind of situational. I run into that, you know, sometimes at work with rules. Now, the law, that's a different story. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't yeah. really thought about that context, but... At work, you know, I run into disputes between, you know, higher level professionals than myself. Sometimes we get caught in the middle and just sort of have to make a decision. So you have to make judgment calls is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that, do you think that it's possible to write rules and laws that account for every situation? Or do you think there's always going to be a gray area? Can I, can I? There will always be a gray area. I, I agree entirely. There's, there's always a gray area. Um, and every situation is different. And sometimes you got to look at that, try and be as fair as you can. And, you know, that's just the way it is. It is the way it is. And, and that's how I feel as well. And that's really what this episode is about, is about, you know, where's the line and, and should the line always be observed? You know, does it always matter if you cross it? Tonight, we're going to find out how much it matters. So, um, Draco, why don't you give the folks the rundown on how they're going to watch this with us? What they need to do. <clears throat> I did that wrong. I was supposed to mute it while I did it, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We're off to a great start, guys. <laughs> I had tried to clear my throat. I was gonna mute it while I did that, but I muted it before, unmuted it, cleared my throat, and muted it again. That <laughs> <laughs> at least everybody knows that you can talk now, right? That is correct. That's correct. If we ever do a live stream, man, like <laughs> 
it people are going to be so surprised anyway <laughs> or not or not good point <laughs> <laughs> so tell the people how to uh how to how to watch along what they need to do well here's what's going to happen we're going to give a five second countdown and then you start now we're i believe we're all watching this through netflix um we have tried this with hulu and i've also tried it with the um, DVDs that came in the silver box, and they've all lined up so far. If you are watching this through Netflix, and your your button's going to come up that says skip intro, don't do that. Because if you do, well, we're not, and it'll be hilarious, and we will not be in the same spot. And we'll have no sympathy for you. Wait, no. Yeah, it's going to be all your fault. If you cross that line, yeah. then, you know, you just, you die. That's just it. That's how, that's the rule, and we can't we can't break that rule, but is it, but is ignorance of the law really an excuse? Obviously not. Obviously not. All right, this is Star Trek: The Next Generation, season one, episode seven. I just about called it by its title. The, the episode number is Justice, and the title of the episode is Seven. No, season one, episode seven, Justice, and we are about ready to start. Mouse is over play buttons, and we are starting in five, four, three. Two, one, go. It's a very vivid planet. It is. They're going like warp seven. They are, yeah. <laughs> Four one two five five. So this is like a week after the naked now, but before every other episode since. I'm just going to interrupt you. Oh, good thing she could tell that because she could sense it. Yeah. Wait. The captain wouldn't know any of this. It's been like 12 days since the Naked Now. And like... Riker looks happy. He does. I wonder what he did on that planet. <laughs> yeah trees and plants that's that's what he'll find yeah and tasha and data were with him even jordy's oh my gosh <laughs> that would be a negative. Huh. Then how are you reading it? Oh, that, no. Worf, see Worf and Jordy there, the sensor maintenance guys. They need to be down there fixing this crap. Teach you how to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> she wants grandchildren already. Couldn't possibly uh... be. Do not click that button. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I want to. I want to do it. Okay, it's gone. One of these days I'm going to. Oh, man. You know, that's what Wesley's saying. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like, you know, Kirk should have visited this planet a lot. Yeah. I think they'll be going where a lot of people have gone before. Oh, did I? We already missed the wrong note. 
I think we did, yeah. So, is Worf in this episode? He was on the bridge yeah, a minute ago. Justice. Rubik's Cube 3. Looks like justice to me. Yep. The Thong Planet. Gene Roddenberry, actually, one of their um, their costumes to be less, but they couldn't make them less without them falling off. I believe that. Notice they shoot that from the waist up. <laughs> Is his name Leotard? <laughs> <laughs> there, there. Not into blondes, I'm sorry. This is a very hugging planet. I am very weirded out. Happiness. <laughs> Happiness. Breaker in half war if you know you want to. <laughs> But you will do. What do I do, Riker? <laughs> All right. When in Rome, do the Romans. Isn't that what happened in Hawaii? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I do like it weird. <laughs> Waist up. Actually, collarbones up. Nerd! Biblically. Ah, crap. Yeah, we can. All right. I was like, if they were going to be barefoot running, like, then I wouldn't be able to. I feel like this should be a commercial for, like, gum or something. It does kind of look like a Mentos commercial, doesn't it? Fresh goes better. Mentos freshness. I have a lot of endurance.
Har, 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 har. We're children despite being hairy chested and deep voiced. Hey, it's the butt harp. They just went. Maybe this is Planet Eden. Did did you just get that? No, like from the original series. Oh, uh, okay. Lots of double sided tape to keep those costumes in place. Yeah, I kind of worry about the baby oil and the double sided tape. Where's my hug? Waste up. That was a contraction there a minute ago. I've. Hmm. Zoop. Don't you need the captain's permission before you, like, do that? Uh, obviously not. Okay. That's how you get results, damn it. Data's a real go-getter. Just ask Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing that from the helm? I mean... Well, Tasha's down on the planet, so... It's almost like Data said that. Why did he go? He went all the way to his quarters to look out the window. I mean, he didn't tell him where to go. That's a good point. You know, if you were at work and you had a chance to like swing by home. Yeah, true. Uh, I guess it went through the shields. I guess so, yeah. I don't know, Captain. You tell me what that is. It's an orb. Sphere of curiosity. Why didn't they shake that time? No.
He doesn't know how to explain colonizing a planet. He's a Starfleet captain, and he doesn't know how to describe what a colony is. Well, he's trying to, you know, explain it simple. Because this godlike being, you know, can't understand complex. Not really. No, only pleasure. He is fully functional. He is. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jiggles, and this is Hardbody. Uh, I, I can't do that. That's definitely Wesley. Uh, uh, uh I need an uh, adult. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's oh. what you meant. Oh, okay. oh. She's asking those guys if they got wood. I kind of like their moccasins. <laughs> we all have ball bearings. <laughs> I really want to know what that game is. Or or a half thing on. Mm hmm. Yeah, don't worry about it. No, including Wesley the girl. Um, you only tried your communicator. I mean, it could just be your communicator. You should really keep an eye on him on this planet. Just saying. A, you brought him here on purpose. B, I mean, what what's the worst he could be doing? So they can't set those glasses down without spilling them. It's part of their mandatory downtime. It forces them to rest. Ah. They don't want people dying of exhaustion. That's a good point. 
and you have to stay hydrated. Yeah. Or like a white garment. Grab my tricorder. Scan for abnormal blood flow. Uh-oh, a white wall or a fence. Wesley's blending in really well for a nerd who's never seen anybody half naked before. That guy's a douche. <clears throat> oh, oh, darn. So that guy literally threw the ball right there. I mean, the plants aren't. Oh, the cops are barefoot. Uh, I mean, oh, he's not barefoot. I thought he was. It's like, ah, somebody could step on that. You sure? Uh, Riker frightened him. I mean, you just tried to kill him. I mean, no offense, guys, but if you tried to stab me with a syringe full of death poison, I'd probably shoot you. You know? Oh, but, but the, the law is absolute. <laughs> Yeah, I would like to hope I would fight back, but, you know. That's another interesting question. Like, what would it take to be, like, convinced that, you know, you should just let somebody execute you for a really bad reason?
Hmm. How would you know? Oh, hey, they used that shot earlier. Uh huh. I never forget a jiggle. Yes. And if Wesley was a normal teenage boy, none of this would have happened. This meaning is convened by Chief Moose Knuckle. So, do these guys have warp drive? Um, that's a good question, because that's the threshold for contact, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, should they be talking to them at all? I mean, I, I can foresee, you know, a situation where, like, maybe somebody else contacted them, and they got involved... You know, I mean, I can it, see the temptation to get to know them, you know. Yeah. So that sounds about right. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. That's kind of how I see it. <sighs> Not until we kill them. Yeah, sounds like they don't understand that. How insane does Captain uh -huh. Picard sound right now? I mean... How insane. Y you know... Can I mention something? What you got? So, so their god does need a starship. Oh, that's a reference to Star Trek Five for the audience. He can only talk and jive. Man, I got to beat down low. This is where he loses the ability to use contractions, right? <laughs> uh, maybe. Let's find out. If not, you know, you get to bring his body back to his mom, just like you did his dad. Yeah, I mean... Like father, like son? It's a family... Yeah, exactly. It's a family tradition now. <sighs> 
I mean, couldn't they pull the same crap they pulled with, you know, the really horribly racist episode? Like, oh, look, he's dead. Let's beam him up. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There's no reason to be. We're just going to completely tear apart your body molecule by molecule, then reassemble it. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely the same person you were when you started. It's not like we make a copy and then kill you or anything. <laughs> That's not important. Punch him in the face. Yeah, yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah you should. Yeah. yeah. It seems pretty simple. It take just, yeah. just leave the doctor there. Is this Jordy's quarters again? I mean, it looks like somebody's quarters. Behind a white fence. Oh. Oh. That ain't good. Uh. Pretty quick. Ah, <laughs> uh, who? Uh, en engage what? <laughs> Can we talk about my son now, you jerk? So what have you learned now? Yeah, like my son is. My child about to be murdered. Hey. Oh, uh, God. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. There we go. Well, yeah. Really? I don't understand why. And he is my son, remember? Hey, blood. Oh, okay. Hmm. A god thing. God thing. Da, 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 da. You make the Edo sing. Da, 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 da. You make everything. 
punishable by death. Wesley's going to die. Wesley's going to die. Like all the classified information about how the ship works, and you know the prefix code. Oh yeah, the prefix code. Hmm. Like, hey, can we have a sample of that poison to analyze how it works? So maybe we can come up with an antidote. Yeah, I mean, Riker picked up the syringe. And they wonder why Dr. Crusher left at the end of season one. Although why she left her son there, I don't know, but, you know. I like that movie. Uh... A lot more talk and a little less action. <laughs> like dune buggies. I mean, you did say you were going to defend it with your life, but, you know. Yeah, you did. Wesley didn't say that, though. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. It's good that, you know, they gave him a chance to make a statement like that, though, because that informs the character. And now later in the series, you know, we can see if he lives up to that. You don't exist in flesh and blood form. I mean, if you prick him, does he not leak? You know, you're right. He's not speaking contractions anymore. Like, they may have totally messed up his <laughs> language processor. <laughs> How long has this scene been going on? Like, five minutes? Seven? Hmm... Have you forgotten about my what son? What the hell are we doing about my son? 
I'm gonna go murder some of the Edu. <laughs> hey, can we fix the flower box thing? Would that fix this? Hey, you know, he still hasn't gotten a new communicator. True. Could you have said that an hour ago? Somebody is playing the sad violin. Must be data. Take your tricorder. How will they ever beam him back? Oh, no. damn. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it's not like you did anything wrong. Their laws are just stupid. Yeah, they might put me in like a resort hotel, I mean prison. <laughs> Shut up, Wesley. The boy grill spine, what the? Well, he did become a man a little while ago. What of shutting up, Lieutenant? I'm snarky tonight, man. Oh, got your answer. Uh... Ah, oh, there's a statement for you. Well, apparently here. Went with Will? What what did he he, he, he didn't did. he didn't say anything? Take that, God. <laughs> man, we taught God about forgiveness, man.
guess we'll just leave him there then. God has abandoned the Edo because they failed to fulfill their laws. Good job, guys. One of the one of them to come back in like five years and it'd be like, you know, Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> not that detroit's bad i mean i like detroit but detroit's a lot better than it used to be i'll say that for sure yeah so is the law absolute god i hope not life is a series of ex exceptions and you know maybe maybe space god understands that i thought about making our intro discussion about religion but i figured that was a bad idea yeah yeah, yeah. best to steer clear that one when we can but if we ever do Star Trek V, we'll kind of have to go into it. Let's give that one some time. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the Edo? What do you think of them? I mean, you know, I kind of understand them now. If breaking any simple law means death, I'd be doing it all the time, too. That's a good point, yeah. Well, particularly, you know, I mean, the things that you are allowed to do, you know, you would you would want to do them. You know, like running everywhere. Sure, we're allowed to do it. Let's do it. You know, wearing a thong. Wear a thong, man. Oh, we don't seem to have any sort of education? Yeah, cool. Yeah. That's a good point. We didn't see any schools. We didn't see any sort of, like, you know, work or anything. Well, I guess we saw the mediators. They're cops. But, you know, we, we don't know that anybody else ever, you know. I assume there's some sort of education system. But, you know, I didn't see any like books or like signs it's just like a white fence do they have any sort of economy like do they are there are there are there production facilities do they do they have you know somebody needs to make the wine well and those those glasses that they were drinking out of those you know those take some craftsmanship you know with the the cone with the sphere at the bottom well i wonder yeah. how much was provided to them you know does their god provide to them like you know the Acampa had with the, uh, you know, the caretaker? That's true. You know, I feel like whoever they are, I'm going to go way, way out there. Okay. You might take this all out. But here, okay. here's what I... Like, that That god is like some interstellar porn industry, and they're just like... <laughs> 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 you know, I mean... You have whole Makes a lot of money off these people. <laughs> just look at them. It's it's the Orion Syndicate. That's what it is, right? They're like the the organized crime wave of the of Star Trek. Yeah. Oh man, and... they found a an advanced ship that can cloak. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, yeah, we, we will well, not protect just cloak. you. Phase cloak. You know, half in, half out. <laughs> it's coming right for us. Wait, that does nothing. Wow. You know that? Wow. That? Huh. First of all, I'm amazed. I never thought of that. Second of all, that would make a really interesting follow-up episode to this. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek The Next Generation continues. Do it, someone. Yeah, you know. You know. Hey, you got the latest hollow tapes from the planet Edo? Yeah. Oh, man, you ought to see it all, you know. They've been getting in some freaky stuff lately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Breach her white fence, volume 43. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say after that one. See you next time. All right. Thanks, everybody. For easy. Joining us. Yeah. Thanks for joining us tonight for episode seven. Uh, look for episode eight next week. We've been doing a couple of one off specials. Uh, we just recorded the Boondock Saints to be released Labor Day. Which, is, which will be which will be out for quite a while by the time you see this. Um, look us up on Twitter. We have a Twitter now uh, at hwy47 production, and we'll post that in the description as well. Um, the The goal is to have new episodes, you know, tweeted out as they get posted. That didn't work with this episode. I'll go back in and I'll fix it. Well, no, no, no. It might work. It'll probably work with this episode. Or it didn't work. I'm sorry. It didn't work with the episode that went live today, which was episode four. Yeah. Yeah, we're three episodes ahead of, of where we were. But, uh, um, because we're overachievers. Right. Follow us there. Um, tell like people and about subscribe us. Subscribe on YouTube. Yeah. Smash that bell, bro. 
so you get the updates and all that. And uh, if you have any, you know, spread the word. You know, you've heard the speech. I hate it when YouTubers are like, hey, here's all the things you can do to tell people to watch me more. But I just yeah. did it. So you guys already know all that stuff. Just do that. All yeah. the things that everybody else says, do it. Or else it will will kill you. Because that's the <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's the punishment. That break the law. I'm not saying I'm gonna like. It's oh, like I, he, he's making you know the. I'm making a reference. Flash. Yeah, it's a it's a reference. I'm not. Act- okay. I had already disconnected from that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! All right. Literally. Um, <laughs> here, play with my compressed air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Wait, we better sign off. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs>